At least 140 Republicans in Congress are expected to support President Trump's bid to overturn the results of the Electoral College next week. The January 6 vote is likely to fail and divide Republicans as President-elect Joe Biden prepares to take office January 20. Biden won the Electoral College 306 to 232, but Trump argues that fraud tipped the results in swing states. Courts have rejected those claims. Senator Josh Hawley RMO, said Wednesday he would join with a group of House Republicans objecting to the results, ensuring there is a vote on whether to accept the Electoral College outcome. At least 140 House Republicans will back the effort, two lawmakers told CNN. There will be 211 House Republicans and at least 50 Senate Republicans in office when the vote occurs. There are two Georgia Senate runoffs on January 5. A member of both the House and Senate must object to trigger actual floor votes on whether to accept the outcome. But once the objections are made, the House and Senate hold separate votes. Both chambers must accept an objection. Because Democrats will control the House, it's unlikely that the effort will prevail in the lower chamber. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell R. Key, strongly discouraged colleagues from objecting, saying it would be a terrible vote for Republicans because some would oppose Trump. Senate Majority Whip John Thune RSD, told reporters a challenge would go down like a shot dog. Senator Pat Toomey R. Pa, has indicated he won't support an objection. His state is one of a handful that narrowly broke for Biden. Some Republicans are attempting to split the difference as the vote looms. Representative Thomas Massey, R. Key, tweeted Thursday, I will vote to reject a state's electors if a majority of that state's legislature formally indicates that we should reject that state's electors. It's unclear if Holly will find other Senate objectors. Incoming Senator Tommy Tuberville, R. Alla, previously said he was considering objecting. In a statement this week, Hawley noted that Democrats objected to the results of the 2004 and 2016 elections, though both efforts failed. I cannot vote to certify the Electoral College results on January 6 without raising the fact that some states, particularly Pennsylvania, failed to follow their own state election laws, Hawley said. And I cannot vote to certify without pointing out the unprecedented effort of mega-corporations, including Facebook and Twitter.